<laughs> hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to be trying not just one, but two of the fastest keyboards in the entire world. Now, I know the title only says the Apex Pro Mini, that was to get you guys to click, but on top of trying that out in game, I am also going to be comparing it to the Wudig 60 HE. Do you guys remember that full size keyboard I tried out a while back that was supposedly faster than the Apex Pro TKL? Well, that keyboard was called the Wooding 2 HE, and what Wooding did, because they're really smart, is they decided to make a smaller and faster version of it, the Wooding 60 HE! So yeah, make sure to drop a like down below if you're excited to see these keyboards. Also, let me know any experiences you guys have had with them, but without further ado, let's see which keyboard is better in Fortnite. Hello there! Am I finally in the center of the frame? I feel like whenever I do these types of videos, I'm just never at the center of the frame. But either way, this one should be different because we have the Apex Pro Mini to try out and unbox. This, as you guys should know, is supposed to be the faster and 60% version of this keyboard right here, the Apex Pro TKL. You guys should know this keyboard, I used it for like two years. Every single pro player and their mother also used it. and. Pretty Pretty much still does. So to say that I'm excited for a smaller and faster version of it, boys, I'm like a little kid on Christmas. No, but for real, as I unbox this, I do have to warn you guys that this is not a cheap keyboard. I bought it off Best Buy like three or four days ago, and I think the total price came out to like $200. It is not cheap whatsoever. But either way, ladies and gentlemen, oh my gosh, here is the Apex Pro Mini. And first impressions, it kind of looks like every other 60% keyboard ever. <laughs> I was not expecting like special keycaps or anything, but it's just very plain. Here is the Razer Huntsman Mini, Apex Pro Mini on top. Can you guys even tell the difference? Which one is which? I have to look on the right side to see the logo. This is the Apex Pro Mini, I think. But luckily the main sell of it is not like the looks. It is how fast it is and specifically the switches. These switches are an upgraded version of their OmniPoint switches, which are in the TKL. According to the box, there should be like a keycap puller under this flap. <gasps> What the? Look at that. It's a keycap puller. Oh my gosh. Stop focusing on my face. And with this, I can actually take off one of the keys. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Oh, there we go. And that will reveal the OmniPoint switch. Please focus. The major upgrade of this one compared to the last OmniPoint switch. OmniPoint, by the way, just means you can actually change where it actuates. So if you want it really high up, so it's really fast, you're a gamer playing Fortnite, you can make it really high up. Or if you're just typing, you can make it really low down. But what they did was they raised the highest one from 0.4 millimeters to what you can kind of see on the box now. Oh, does that show my address? On the box, it says it is now 0.2 millimeters, meaning it is 0.2 millimeters higher up. So whenever you press down on your key switch, it's gonna actuate at that point and it should be really, really fast. So I mean, other than that, all I really have to show you guys is I guess what it sounds like. We're gonna try it in game, of course, but for a quick little switch sound test, This is my face behind the keyboard. Honestly, it sounds kind of the same as the last OmniPoint switches. They're just an upgraded version of them, but they're linear, they're smooth, they should feel the same. I can't really test it until we get into an actual Fortnite match. But again, I am extremely excited for this, the Apex Pro Mini. And remember, that's not the only keyboard we're looking at. We're going to try the Wooting 60 HE as well, and we're gonna see which is the new fastest keyboard in Fortnite. <laughs> All right, so as you guys should be able to see, the Apex Pro Mini is currently plugged in. It is working. I got the cool colorway on it and all that stuff. I didn't show it, but I did go into the software and I put it on the lowest, or I guess the highest possible actuation, the fastest setting it can get of 0.2 millimeters. And now I guess we'll just start with a little free build. We'll see if it makes me booga or not. Okay. Oh, interestingly enough, like right off the bat, oh, Okay, 
Oh, and now I'm missing edits and building random things. This actually feels a lot different than the Apex Pro TKL. Like, it's not as mushy. Hopefully those of you who have used the Apex Pro TKL, you kind of know what I'm saying if you've used other keyboards on top of that. It's not like clicky per se. It's still, you know, linear, it's smooth, but it's a lot more tactile. The feedback is there compared to the Apex Pro TKL switch. I'm not really sure if I can tell yet whether it's faster or not. Uh, I mean, it is only what, like a 0.2 millimeter difference? I'll probably have to decide that later on. So I guess the only thing we really can do is try it in game. Oh man, let's use it against other people. Now, I know I usually do solo arena for these types of videos. As you can see, this is not solo arena. You need champs for the cash cup tomorrow, so people are like camping in solo arena. It's really not good or fun for content. And I've actually wanted to try this out for a while now, so you know what? Tilted zone wars it is. I think I've only played this once, and like you can see people, you can see their names the whole time or something. I got a spaz, okay. Oh, what's up, bro? Whoa, what the hell did that guy just hit me with? Bro. Dead? Oh, I don't, I don't think I got the kill for that. <laughs> Bro, what is this? <laughs> ah! What? 180? Dead? Holy crap. What is this game mode? 100? What is going on? Get me away! <laughs> this is insanity. Oh, I need that. No! That honestly was not a bad round. And I mean, did I miss any edits? I was like, piece of people. I was kind of hitting my shots, which does not really have to do with the keyboard at all. But I mean, I think my backs were pretty spicy there. <laughs> Let's see if I can win a round. Are these guys teaming? There we go. I'm tarping in Tilted Zone Wars. Ooh, tarps feel nice. It's kind of funny because, like, I can see where these kids are, but I'm still getting snuck up on. Full piece. Oh, oh, nar. Two. <laughs> Wait, am I just demon mode with this freaking keyboard? Where are these brothers at? Come down. Come here. That's a big shot. Why is my aim suddenly godly? And I'm using the same freaking keyboard I always have. Oh, did I say keyboard? I meant mouse. I'm using the same mouse I always- Ah! That was bad crosshair placement. It's a 1v1 right now. Do you guys think I win? Oh, do I win this? I think I gotta go down and fight him now. No way. No way! Conrad 21 FN! <laughs> okay, I'm winning a round and I'm doing it right now. Dead. I guess I have to play this like a real zone war. I'm playing a damn stacker of an endgame in a cash cup. Oh, cracked. Finally! Holy! Okay! I mean, just from the Apex Pro Mini alone, I can say it's definitely an upgrade over the TKL. I like it a lot. However, you guys have kind of been clickbaited because we have to try another keyboard before we could really get the entire kind of Jerry and opinion. Yeah! Now for the other keyboard we have to try out, the Wooting 60HE. This, just like the Apex Pro Mini, it's the 60% and faster version of kind of like the TKL version of the Apex Pro. The Wooting TKL, that was called the Wooting 2HE. I made a video on it, but it was actually a full size. That's why I did not like it. And again, this is supposed to be not only faster than the Wooting one, it's supposed to be faster than the Apex Pro Mini. The price of it is around 
around the same. I think it's $180. The only main downside of buying it is that it's not mass produced in like the US. Wooding is an EU company. They sent me this keyboard for free, but I can say whatever I want about it. It's not sponsored. Oh, and actually, let me just show you guys how cool the packaging was. It comes with like a little band thing. And then for everyone who always wonders where I get my dust covers from, like this, I get them from Wooding. Every time you buy a Wooding keyboard, you get a dust cover. Pretty cool. And before any of you guys go and say, but wait, Jerrion, I thought Wooding was the double movement company. Well, little Timmy, yes, they made keyboards originally. And actually the selling point of the original Wooding was that it was a double movement keyboard before double movement was allowed in Fortnite. Only my OGs remember that. But now we have the Wooding 60HE, which looks just like the Apex Pro Mini. Not only does it still have like the analog input, meaning you can just use double movement with these keys, but it has the same kind of Omnipoint switch where depending on where you actually want it to actuate, you could go from I think up to four millimeters to all the way down to 0 0.1. 0 0.1 millimeters. That is a higher actuation point than the Apex Pro Mini. And according to like what I've seen online, it should also have way lower input delay because these key switches use like something called the Hall Effect. I don't really know the science behind it, but it uses like lasers and it's pretty fast. All I know is that I want to show you guys the switch, but I don't have a keycap puller. Uh, might have to use the Apex Pro Mini one. So the name of these switches, which I'll just pull a random keycap off. These switches are made by Wooting and they're called the Lecker switches. Like I said, they use something called the Hall Effect to actually go off. It means there's like less than a millisecond of input delay. Hopefully you can see the switch itself is green. But yeah, these switches are supposed to be faster than the Apex Pro and the Razer Huntsman ones. It also actuates higher up. They have something called like Rapid Trigger, which I showed in the Wooting 2HE video. That apparently makes it so like if you press down, but then you don't go all the way up with your key, you could like press down again and it will actuate again or like a second time. Meaning if you have it at like 0.1 millimeters where it actuates as you press down, then you can let go 0.1 millimeters and then press down again and you'll just have the fastest key switch ever. You can edit like 50 million times in a second and it's not a macro. It's just amazing technology. I don't know. Final thing we'll do is a little key switch test. Hopefully my dog stops barking. But these are also linear. They're smooth just like the Apex Pro Mini. Oh. You can definitely tell they sound different. Kind of like softer and quieter in a way, which I actually like. But again, I am extremely excited to try this out. It's pretty much the only competition the Apex Pro Mini has. And I mean, outside of me just talking about why it's crazy, I think it's time to prove it in game. Wooting 60 HE time. As you guys can see, not only did I change my skin in game, but I changed the map colors. And you know, the keyboard over here, it's different. Now, just like with the Apex Pro Mini, I, of course, I went into the Wooting software and I made sure everything was on like the fastest possible setting. Some of the settings, I'm not completely sure how they worked, like the continuous rapid trigger. I put that on my edit and I think my F and left alt, which are my two building binds on my keyboard. The way they're supposed to to work is like specifically with an edit is I can actuate it by pressing you know 0.1 millimeters down that's gonna start the edit but that oh but then I guess if I let go 0.1 millimeters and then press 0.1 millimeters again it's gonna actuate a second time meaning like as I just push down it should be bro this is freaky can you guys see what I'm doing with my finger my finger is on my edit key I'm pressing letting go but not going all the way up oh what the Nah, this is weird. <laughs> Essentially, I should be able to edit like ridiculously fast and rarely, if ever, kind of get stuck on my edits. Can I do a quad edit? Oh, bro, I'm editing. I'm not even meaning to edit these things. Oh, there's a quad edit. Bro. Now, as far as the switch feels, it's definitely more similar to the Apex Pro TKL than even the Apex Pro Mini is. And I know that sounds weird, but like, it's really smooth. It's not mushy per se. I guess it's more mushy than sort of the Apex Pro Mini is. But like, everyone who has an Apex Pro TKL, you guys know what that feels like. And this basically feels the exact same. 
It's just for mooting. And it's technically faster. I kind of wish I was like 14, 10 years younger, and I could just have crazy mechs. What about a quick little edit down? Oh, did not mean to do that. Holy, I'm... Bro, I just pre-edited. It's almost too fast for me. I'm not used to it. <laughs> Bro. Oh my god. Mongi Classic into another one. So yeah, I mean, first impressions, it is definitely, like you guys can see, it is insanely quick. I'm barely pressing down on my keyboard and it's actuating everything. Not to mention, like, I could just... Oh, oh, oh. I don't even have to press my edit key all the way back up again. Like, I feel like if I can master that, I could probably do triple edits just forever. It looks like a macro. Oh, <laughs> wait, and speaking of a macro, does this mean I can float? Uh, <laughs> well, two years later, and I still just don't know how to float, even with the fastest keyboard, like, ever. <laughs> Regardless, it's time. Let's get into some sort of game. Not sure what. And let's put this damn keyboard to good use. Bah! Let's do it. Guys, I tried playing Arena, and you know, I said before it would be hard. It was basically the damn World Cup. I guess the first solo cash cup is tomorrow, so everyone is just sweating their nuts off. Nobody wants to see tier 1 pros just shit on me for 10 minutes. Or maybe you do, if you're sadistic. So in order to see just how good the Wooting 60HE is, we're here in 32 Man Zone Wars, and I'm going to do my best to win a round. This actually has very realistic loot. What? Guy playing Medmus. Bro, where? So, I feel like I'm playing a solo cash trip right now. Now get front side. Tarping? Okay, tarping's pretty nice. Oh! God damn, this kid's a, this kid's a freaking animal. Is it a 1v1? Oh, it pulls up. That's the only bad part. I'm Medkit playing right now? No! I didn't see that guy! The question is, does he have the Wooting 68 Uh... Bro? <laughs> what was that? I gotta get teed. Maybe this is like too fast for me? Okay. Tarp in his zone. Don't worry about me. Ooh, tarps are crispy. Might have to be the new IGL keyboard. Oh, I'm on height. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. This guy's armored walling. Okay. Who else is alive? Oh, this kid. Oh, I like how my aim is just crazy, even though my keyboard has nothing to do with my aim. Bro. No. Ah. Oh. I'm trying to run away. Like, come on, man. It looks like I'm throwing these rounds, but I'm trying to win. Come on, baby. No. Nice. Wait, that's height. Now I'm on height again. I have no mats, though. This is not good biz. Oh, no. Bro. Every round, it's a 1v1 at the end, and I lose. Bro, it's the last round. It's literally the last round. I'm actually popping off too. My tarps are clean. My edits have been clean. What the? Full piece? Bro, what am I seeing? What the? <sighs> Don't know what that was. Wait, is this a 1v1? I think it is. The final 1v1, boys, to determine if the Wooting 60HE is insane or not. I'm going up. Oh. Bro, this guy has so many mats. We're going down, I guess. It's not looking good. No, it didn't shoot! Ah! Well, there's your answer. 
No, but for real, guys, both of these keyboards are amazing. I recommend both, honestly. I don't think you can go wrong with either. Wooding does have more features, and it should be faster, technically. But, I mean, I think I might use the Apex Pro Mini. I don't know!